Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can change the appearance of bullets and numberings that you apply. Word allows you to create your own custom library of bullets and numbering. Custom bullets and numbering you create will then appear within the drop-down menu of their respective buttons. That way, you can create them once and then reuse them as often as needed. To create a custom bullet, First, click the drop-down button next to the Bullets button in the Paragraph group of the Home tab within the ribbon. Then click the Define New Bullet command from the drop-down menu. This will open the Define New Bullet dialog box. This dialog box allows you to define the appearance of your new bullet. At the top of the dialog box, in the Bullet Character section, are three buttons that allow you to choose the icon that will be used for your bullet. Symbol, Picture, and Font. If you want to create a bullet based on an available symbol, then click the Symbol button in order to open the Symbol dialog box. This dialog box will default to displaying the content of the symbol font. However, note that you can use the Font drop-down to choose another font if desired. For example, the Webdings or Wingdings fonts also have many fun and useful bullet characters that you can use. Once you have the font selected, click on the symbol within the font box that you wish to use as a bullet icon. Then click the OK button to return to the Define New Bullet dialog box. If you wanted to use a picture for the bullet versus a font character, then you would click the Picture button in order to open the Picture Bullet dialog box. Here you can scroll through the listing of available bullets until you find the one that you like. Click on it to select it and then click the OK button to return to the Define New Bullet dialog box. Notice that you can insert pictures from File, Office Clip Art, Bing Image Search, or your SkyDrive. If you elected to use a symbol for your bullet icon, then you will be able to click the Font button to open the Font dialog box. This dialog box allows you to modify the appearance of the selected font symbol. When you have finished modifying the bullet's appearance, Click the OK button to return to the dialog box. The final step is then to choose an alignment for the selected bullet, bullet character from the alignment drop-down. Review the appearance of the bullet in the preview section and then click the OK button to finish defining the new bullet. You can also create your own numbering if desired. The process is very similar to the one used to define new bullets. Simply click the drop-down arrow next to the numbering button in the paragraph group on the home tab of the ribbon. Then select Define New Number Format from the drop-down menu in order to open the Define New Number Format dialog box. First, select the general style of numbering to use from the Number Style drop-down. Then, click the Font button to open the Font dialog box. As with symbol bullets, you can use a dialog box to select a font to use and set other formatting features that you want the numbering to possess. Once you have done that, click the OK button to return to the Define New Number Format dialog box. You can add additional characters that follow your selected numbering format in the Number Format text box. For example, you could replace the default period with a hyphen if desired. Next, choose the alignment that you want to apply to the numbering from the Alignment drop-down. You should see how your numbering will appear in the new window in the Preview section. When you have the numbering set as you would like it to appear, click the OK button to finish creating your own custom numbering. Also notice that your new custom formatting or bullets 
will show up under the recently used number formats. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.